thanks for joining us today at Island Ford Superstore located on Norcross Road in Duncan, BC off the Trans-Canada Highway. We're in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island and you can visit us online at islandford.ca. For more information and a full description of this vehicle, today we're looking at a 2021 Explorer Limited in Infinite Blue with ebony leather interior seating for six, four doors and a hatch. It has a 2.3 liter four-cylinder engine and it's an all-wheel drive with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It also has backup camera, SYNC 3 with navigation and a wireless charging pad, as well as backup sensors, a Class 3 trailer tow package, roof rails, and so many more features. If you'd like to take this out for a test drive, we'd be happy to show it to you. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Intelligent speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors. There's also memory for three drivers, and there's the badging for the BNO audio system. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar, and you have your lighting controls located here and the liftgate release here. Power, tilt, and telescoping steering wheel. And on the face of the steering wheel is your dash controls. This is your lane keeping, as well as cruise control. And you also have volume. There's your menu for your dash and hands-free dialing. There's also paddle shifter. There's one on the left and the other one's on the right here. And this is a push start. So I just put my foot on the brake, key in the pocket, and you see this nice inlay design. On your dash, any important messages will appear. And we'll just press the OK to go through. So we have trip one, tire pressure, your media, fuel economy, and back around again. And these all have sub-menus. In the center is your display screen. This is, this is a touch screen. So as we go into the different options, my fingers are a little bit cold here. I'm just going to go in to my controls. And this red line across here, this is just a covering to protect the screen. And we're going to go into sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. Navigation, it's going to come up with your map. And when I put the vehicle in reverse, you're going to see your backup camera view. You're seeing where your vehicle is in space and as well, these white lines are showing me as my wheel is turned where I'm going to end up if I continue in that direction. The green, yellow, red tells me how close I am to things. And that center line helps me hook up with my trailer hitch as well as centering me on the road to show me where I am. I'm just going to go back into park and we can go back home as well for our settings and slide through for different options. You've got your Bluetooth there, Wi-Fi, automatic updates, and so forth. And this is just a protective covering. Volume and tuner, there's your hazard lights, parking sensors, as well as your camera. And then you can just press through. Heated and cooled seats for both driver and passenger, as well as your heated steering wheel, and you're seeing the display for the climate control, which is located here. And you also have your AC and max AC, as well as the front and rear defrost. In the little cubby area, you've got a USB and a USB-C, 12 volt. You can just close that up, just give it a push, dial shifter, and you have your cup holders. These also have the ambient lighting. Those are those rings you're seeing. And there's your uh, electronic parking brake and auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing, and this will hold you in place. And you have drive mode, as well as your auto stop start for less idle time, hill descent, and traction control. And as we dial through the drive mode, you're gonna see it appear on your dash, so there's normal. And as I dial through, Eco, Sport, Tow Haul, and then back around again. And there you go. And there we miss Trail and Slippery as well, and Deep Snow Sand. So you have a whole bunch of different options for different road conditions. And there is your wireless charging pad. Your armrest opens up. Lots of room in there. There's a little bin. You can take that out. There's a 12 volt in there. And then just pop that back in. And off to the side is your glove compartment. Up above, auto dimming rear view mirror, universal garage door opener. There's your lighting controls, sunglass holder, and you have a power tilt and slide screen as well as your moonroof. And we just press the button for that to control it. And there's a grab handle on the passenger side, making it easier to get in. 20 inch wheels, mud flaps, chrome accent, chrome and body color door handle with intelligent access as well as keyless entry keypad driver side capless easy fuel gas filler in the back you've got a little bit of a spoiler and a windshield wiper below the explorer badge you have your backup camera backup sensors on your bumper dual exhaust a class 3 trailer tow hitch with four and seven pin connector and then when you want to open up that hatch you can do so from inside you can double click your fob and to the right side of the explorer badge there's a little arrow you can also push the button there to open it up Inside, nice and roomy. Back here, there's a 50-50 split rear seats. 
And so I've got one up, one down, and you have the buttons off to the side to fold and bring them up, as well as a 12 volt and a light. You've got a cargo management system, so you've got lots of room in there and these little bins open up. So you can divide things up and keep them separate and keep them in place. You also have clips and tabs to be able to tether things. And then when you wanna close it all up, there's a button to the right and you just close it up here and you can also lock it from there. It chimes to let you know that it's going down securely and then you can just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob you have remote start. Storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows. You also have these screens, so the little tabs right here, so that controls the light that's coming in. In this row you have seating for two with captain's chairs each have an armrest and when you want to bring them down and out of the way you can just pull the handle at the base and then pop them out. As well, you've got anchors on the back to be able to tether baby seats. And these seats also slide forward. There's a bar to the front. In the back, we have a 50-50 split seat. I've got one down, one up, and you can see you've got anchors on there too. There's also cup holders and places to put items. And then when you want to bring these seats up, you simply just give them a push into the upright position. And there's the automatic button, and it shows you exactly what it does. It folds and slides forward. In the center, you have a little console there with a couple of cup holders and a place to put things. There's carpeted mats on the floor and it also comes with all weather mats, especially with this weather getting a little wetter. It's nice to have that, keeps everything clean. Slim pockets on the back of the front seat and in the center you have your climate control. Those little red seats are the heated seats for this row. You also have the 110 as well. You have your USB and USB see a little bin to put items. There's a grab handle in the body up above, hooks, handles, lighting, and that twin panel moon roof. Glass in the back windows with window vents, roof rails, powered side view mirrors with blind spot information system, auto high beams, halogen headlights, front sensors, and so many more reasons to visit us at Island Ford Superstore, BC's number one rated Ford dealer.